Half circles, dragon punches, fireballs, rolls of quarters. All relics of a bygone era. There aren't many video game arcades left, but fortunately, there's Battlecon. Battlecon Devastation of Indians is a lot of things, but at its core, it's a head-to-head -head battle game in the vein of 2D fighting games like Street Fighter or Guilty Gear. With a roster of 30 characters to choose from, Battlecon ensures that there's a combatant for everyone. They're even grouped by complexity, letting you work up from straightforward characters to highly technical ones. Once each player has selected their character, they will take a set of generic base cards, a life counter, and a packet that includes a unique set of style cards and any tokens unique to that character. Each match is divided into 15 rounds called beats, and each beat begins with each player secretly picking a red style card and a blue base card. These two cards combine to form the player's attack, with the goal of knocking out your opponent or having more health at the end of the match. Each attack is comprised of four elements. Range determines how far your attack can reach. Power determines how much damage your attack does. Priority determines who goes first in the beat. And finally, there are special effects on the bottom that may come into play. It's an impressively simple system that allows you to jump in and start playing almost right away. But don't mistake its simplicity for shallowness. Sure, you can engage in the cardboard equivalent of button mashing, throwing down a random attack and hoping for the best, but that's missing the point. Battlecon is all about mind games. Double and triple think, feints, bluffs, anticipation. It's all about getting into the head of your opponent and staying one move ahead. In Battlecon, you're always exactly aware of what your opponent is capable of. So, while the mechanical execution of performing an attack is simple, the decision is much less so. Do you jump back and out of the way of your opponent's attack? Or do you move in and stun them? Maybe they're anticipating that and dash behind you, catching you out of position. There's a lot to learn about your character. You'll learn their devastating attack combinations and preferred board positions, and with practice, you'll become a better fighter. It's incredibly rewarding to choose a character, learn their strengths and weaknesses, and feel in control the whole match. If you're worried that this might lead to some lopsided matches between novices and experts, the designer thought of that. In fact, he thought of just about everything. There are bosses to take on, team battles, and even an RPG-like dungeon mode complete with potions and equipment. The variety included in the box is nothing short of staggering. One of my favorite moments in board gaming is the reveal. It's the moment where all of your planning is displayed for all to see. It's a theatrical moment where all eyes are on you, and you can either shine gloriously or fail spectacularly. Battlecon is essentially a series of reveals, and coupled with the copious amount of fighters and modes, it goes a long way to prove that you really can't have too much of a good thing.